bump the camera, fatty. Come on. Okay. Pass away up, baby, mama. Guys, I am Ryan Gian, and I'm so stoked to bring to you the second edition of Wake Up and Dream 2018. January was an absolute incredible month, and we talked about, and if you haven't, let's pause for a moment here. If you haven't seen it yet, do me a favor. In the description, the link, follow me on the Facebook page, follow me on Instagram, subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you check out the Facebook page, End of 2017, I did a good video that laid the foundation to my vision for Wake Up and Dream, and then recently published the first January edition of Wake Up and Dream, which you can also find at the YouTube channel at Ryan D. Gian. Um, and then you can also follow it because it's revlogged on my website, which is ryangianonline.com. That's Ryan, G U I L L E N, online.com. But we talked about January being the starting point. And I'm really, really excited because I listened to a lot of the things that I uh, had expressed in that video, rehearsed it again, really, really long launched some awesome things for January and my God, my God, it was an absolute incredible month. So I'm so excited about what February is bringing to us. I can hardly, hardly wait. And so this month is going to be a little bit different because what I'm going to do is I'm gearing up to introducing some guest speakers uh, for the next few months as we journey through 2018 together. So definitely subscribe to the YouTube channel. Definitely follow me on Facebook. Stay abreast of who I'm going to be bringing in because they are going to be awesome, awesome people that are absolutely going to impact your life for the better. So with that being said, welcome officially to the February edition of Wake Up and Dream 2018. Now, we're in the second month already of the year. If you chart your progress, hit your quarterly goals, we're getting ready to wrap up the first quarter of the year, which is absolutely major, right? But the best thing about it is that whatever maybe didn't get implemented in the first quarter, you certainly can start to implement in the second quarter. Whatever adjustments you have to make, you can go back and look at those things, polish up some ends that need to be polished up, and get ready for an absolutely fantastic year. This month is particularly special, though, with it being February, the second month of 2018. In other words, January, if things didn't work out how we wanted it to work out, if things maybe didn't go as far as we wanted them to go, we have another chance in this month of February, which is really, really exciting. So what I want to talk to you about this month in regards to your dreams, in regards to your aspirations, in regards to your goals is yet another stepping stone that's going to get you further and further to that place. Now, there's some sim simple things that we have to start with. And if we don't catch the simple principles first, then anything else we talk about the rest of this year is not going to be effective. So the first thing that I want to talk to you about is how to develop your dream. Many of us, as I stated in the first um, January edition and even some of uh, the Facebook Live, as I laid the foundation for this project, I expressed how dreaming can present a, a negative connotation to people and how if you don't ac uh, access and maximize those dreams and those opportunities to fulfill your dreams, then you get further and further behind schedule in essence. And so what happens if things aren't in place, when time and opportunity happen to you, you can absolutely miss that time and opportunity because you're not in position. February has to be the month of positioning. February has to be the month of repositioning some things, positioning some things, and aligning some other things up so that you can really, really live a fruitful and productive year the rest of this year. Now, what does that mean? That means that you have to develop your dream. So my encouragement to you for the month of February is to take your vision, take your dream, put it on paper, build yourself a mission statement, build yourself a vision statement, Make the vision plain. Write it down and make it plain. Keep it before you. Now, many people ask, you know, Ryan, I've done this, I've done that. Have you ever done a business plan? Have you ever done an executive summary? I've done all of that. But what we do get uh, misconstrued with is what is the difference between a mission statement and a vision statement, right? Because you think they could be very, very similar in which they are. They run parallel to each other, but they're also similar to long-term, short-term goals, which essentially get us to the end result of where we want to be. So you have to pause for the month of February and you have to stop for a minute and start to develop your dream, which means you have to do a mission statement. You have to do a vision statement. I wrote a couple working definitions down here that I want to share with you in regards to that. A mission statement is a formal summary of the purpose and value. So in other words, it's your roadmap. Okay. Now we all have a destination, a place that we all want to get to, and we all have an end goal that we want to see ourselves, which is absolutely amazing to have. 
but you have to have the steps to get to that point. There's no plan on you saying, I'm going to drive cross country and end up on the complete opposite coast of me just because I want to go for a road trip and have a fun experience. All that's great, but if you don't have the roadmap necessary or the GPS in place to get you from point A to point B, then your efforts are going to be fruitless. That's what a mission statement does. A mission statement gives you your overall formal summary of the purpose and value, the reasoning as to why you're doing this. My mission statement here, for an example, as it pertains to uh, Wake Up and Dream 2018, is to just allow us to maximize on the simple nuggets of truth through our life to get us in position to really reap the harvest that we're supposed to reap this year. The vision statement is an overview of what is to be accomplished. In other words, that is the final definition. So my vision for Wake Up and Dream, for an example, is I'd love one day to have a podcast with this information, to bring guests in, to to publish information to you that's going to change your life. That is my vision for Wake Up and Dream, is to get our lives out of a slumber state into a wake up state, to get us from partially suspended to all the way conscious so we can manifest in our dreams. My mission statement is to start here with these little these little casts, throw this information out there to you in hopes of developing something much larger. Mission, short term, vision, long term. So you have to write the vision. You have to make it plain. You have to keep the destination, the roadmap, and the final destination before you at all times. It helps you gauge how you're going to construct your day. It helps you uh, how, understand how to prioritize your day so that everything that needs to fall in alignment for you during that day to push you to that place will do so. If it doesn't push you towards your destination, it is a waste of your time. If it doesn't thrust you into uh, the right journey or push you further down the road in a short amount of time, then it is working against you. You don't have time to deal with things that work against you. Why do I say that? I say that because we're in a time crunch. Look at how many days, years, some of us decades we've wasted on wanting to actually fulfill the dreams that we never have fulfilled. In order to do that, we put these simple things into place, we put things back into realignment, and we allow the process to take itself. So here we go. It's time to wake up and dream. So you have to develop the dream. In order for the dream to manifest, you have to develop it. So my encouragement to you for the month of February is to take your dream, take your vision, write it down, make it plain, keep it before you. I've got a prayer that I pray every morning before I wake up and I go to the office. It's a prayer that I've written out. I've read it so many times I basically have it memorized. So I sometimes just pray an overview or a summary of it or even as I felt led uh, depending on the context of the prayer. But basically it sets myself up for the rest of the day. Lord, I'm asking you to send me ready, willing, and able buyers. I'm asking you to send me lister, sellers that are willing to list at fair market value. I'm asking for these things to come into fruition for me. And I'm declaring that my day is going to reap the benefits of what I'm speaking. But if we don't have that vision, if we don't have those mission statements even before us to get us to that place, it'll make it 10 times more difficult for us to get there. So February has to be a month to develop. Okay, so So here's the exciting part. And I'm going to give you this definition here just so you have it for your information because we've got to understand that when we're developing our dream for the month of February, we have to stop donating time and energy to everything that hinders us from getting into that, that place. So that means fear. Fear is the biggest number one contributor to preventing us from really waking up, dreaming, and manifesting into our dreams. And so 2018 has to be a year where you start to give less and less time until it's completely away from you into fear, into anything that inhibits you from stepping into everything that you are called to be. So I'm going to give you this working definition for you. Fear is this, fake excuses that ambush reality. Now, why do you say it like that? I say it like that is because the reality is this. The reality is that you are purposeful. The reality is that you have a promise. The reality is that you have so much potential inside of you. And so when anything comes to you that gets you to think that complete opposite, that you're not purposeful, you don't have a promise, you don't have potential in you. Maybe somebody spoke ill of you and you're dealing with low self-esteem or or self-confidence issues, or maybe you just feel that you're not good enough to be the business owner that you wanna be, or to be the entrepreneur that you want to be. Let me tell you something. Every second that you spend in allowing these uh, excuses to speak to you 
you give power and authority more to that, which means that the reason why a lot of us haven't walked out what we're supposed to walk out is because fear has become the supreme authority over our dreams. So we have to cut that off this month. We've got to separate ourselves from that this month and every false excuse that does not speak to us and tries to ambush reality is nothing but falseness clothed in fear to get us and prevent us from walking into everything that we're supposed to walk into. So again, I want you to understand this. Whatever fake excuses come your way to ambush your reality, fear, fake excuses that ambush reality has to be cut off this month for the rest of this year. And you have to develop your dream. So I encourage you to start with your mission statement. I encourage you to start with your vision statement. Put it all together. Mesh it all in a pot. Let it produce what it's supposed to produce. And it is going to bring you something absolutely incredible. Follow me on my website, Ryan, G-U-I-L-L-E-N, online.com. And certainly subscribe to the YouTube channel, which is where I'll be uploading all of these videos. Um, Great, great things you cannot afford to miss. I guarantee it. So I thank you so much for taking the time and uh, listening to the February edition of Wake Up and Dream. I'm really, really excited about March. March is going to be... Uh, a good milestone for us. So be on the lookout because great things are on the horizon. Thank you so much for your time. I pray God's blessings over you. And until we see again, may you walk in increase, expansion, and overflow in Jesus' name.